Today we're looking to the estimating for the foundation wall. Similar to the strip footing, we'll be focusing on the formwork and the concrete. Under 3D view in the property box, turn on the section box. What it does is you will be able to make 3D section through our building. Now you can see the footing, the wall, and the slab. Also the main floor structure all in one place. You can turn off section box at any time. Let's go to view schedules, material takeoff. We don't have anything specifically for the foundation wall. Instead, we are going to pick walls, then change the name. We are going to pick assembly code. Assembly description, family and type, the length of the wall, the width. For the height, the only thing that's available is just the unconnected height. We also need something associated with material, material volume, and the material name. For the formwork area, will not be able to use something like material area or just area. Instead, what do we need to do is to create another new parameter. Formwork will be the area. For the formula, pick length and height. Multiply times two to get both sides. Move this in order. Under sorting the grouping, check grand total. So this way we'll get a summary. Under formatting, what do we need to do apparently to calculate total on both formwork and uh, concrete volume? Let's see what we have. Looks like we're getting a very long list. But what we are looking at is just the concrete. Go to the property window for the schedule. You click on Filter. We're going to specify what we want, which is material equal to concrete only. Now the list is much shorter. Sometimes we also want to see the metric equivalent for the quantity. What we can do is go to formatting under the property for the schedule. For the formwork, we're going to change it to square meter. For the volume, we're going to change it to cubic meter. This concludes our exercise today. Next time, we're going to look at slabs and toppings.